If you are new to music, check out this playlist before watching. I will be using the knowledge set out in these videos to explain the concept of melody. And now, commence the music minute. A melody is a linear succession of musical notes that the listener perceives as a single entity. In its most literal sense, melody is a combination of pitch and rhythm. Under this definition of melody, both lead vocals and bass line fit within the same concept of melody. When deciding what next note you want to put in a melody, the most important thing to take into account is interval. The distance between two notes. There are three different intervals to take into account. One, the interval between the note and the key center. Two, the interval between the note and the root of the chord. Three, the interval between the note and the note preceding it. A bass line's melody often takes most into account the interval between the note and the chord, often either just playing the root note of the chord, like in popular music, or playing an arpeggio of the entire chord, like in jazz. An arpeggio is playing the notes of a chord, but spread out over time instead of playing it all at once. Instead of. Lead melodies care most about their relation to the key center, demonstrated in this melody by the strokes. All right, let's try this out. See, some synths only play one note. It's called monophonic. Some synths will play many notes called polyphonic. We'll see right now if this is a mono or polyphonic synth. Sounds pretty monophonic to me. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so I noticed I wasn't really talking at this part, so I figured I'd go and give a play-by-play -play of what, I, what I'm doing. As you can see, I started it on, I, I started it on the F note, and the, the bass line, and it goes up, it goes all the way up to the G, to the A, and then it goes down to the G. That's a nice little sound there, and I, I figured that out right off the bat, and then I, I, it took me a little bit to get a, you know, the tempo down, it was a weird, weird place, I wanted it to happen on the beat. Basically, this is all you're going to be doing when you're making a bass line, you're going to have a, you're going to have a bunch of melody notes, and you're going to try to play around with them until they sound good, and it's all trial and error, you know, you make a hundred, and then maybe you'll make one you like, it's, you know, it's how the world works, you know. So, uh, it was nice meeting you guys, uh, I'll be back later. What did I say in the beginning? There's rhythm. Harmony. I guess this kind of counts as melody, but no, no, we need a true melody. And where are we gonna go? Of course we're gonna go to Flex because you can get everything from this beautiful little plugin. Alright, so I'm already kind of in love. Okay, so uh, I loved this sound, but I don't anymore. Actually, you know. Once again, I realized I didn't really say anything for a while here. Uh, it's a bit like the bass line. You just put a, it's, this in C, so you just put uh, white notes all over. You know, the ones that go up and the ones that go down. And it hopefully sounds like something at the end. You almost know how to make your own breakcore song. Just watch this last video on final touches and mixing, and you'll be ready.